Okay, tonight we would like to um, have a special recognition. This is our third year that we've recognized a distinguished alumni from St. Henry Schools. And to make that presentation tonight is Board President Andy Follenkamp. Thank you, Julie. For those of you who don't know me, I am Andy Follenkamp. I am your school board president which tonight allows me to be here with you to talk about someone I have known my entire life. When I found out a couple weeks ago that the committee had selected my Uncle Len for recognition, my family and I were especially excited knowing I'd have the opportunity to introduce him. Fortunately, Len and his wife Mary Kay were able to travel from Pennsylvania ahead of the storm to be with us here tonight. For Len's family and those of you who know him well, the inclusion in this Hall of Fame will come as no surprise, for, it was long, for we have long admired his leadership and service. I do have a summary of Len's accomplishments, which I'd like to read for you now. I'll try to keep it short, but there's quite a bit here. Leonard Fullenkamp served in the United States Army for 30 years, attaining the rank of Colonel. In 1998, he retired from active duty to serve an additional 16 years as professor at the U.S. Army War College. His active duty assignments included two tours in Vietnam, being awarded the Purple Heart, time stationed in Germany, and command and staff assignments with the 25th Division, the 82nd and 101st Airborne Divisions, the 2nd Ranger Battalion, and the 42nd Field Artillery Brigade. He has served on the faculty of the United States Military Academy at West Point and the Department of History and the U.S. Army War College and their Department of National Security and Strategy. In this position, he served as director of the Advanced Warfighting Studies Program and the Advanced Strategic Arts Program. In addition to his teaching duties, Len was the director of the Army War College Battlefield Staff, Road, Staff Ride Program for 20 years. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree from the University of Dayton and a Master's degree in History from Rice University. He is a graduate of the U.S. Army Command and General Staff College and the U.S. Army War College. He is the author of War College Campaign Studies and Battlefield Guides for World War II campaigns in North Africa, Normandy, the Battle of the Bulge, as well as Operation Just Cause. He also co-authored Civil War Battlefield Guides to the Battle of Shiloh, the Vicksburg Campaign, and the Battle of Gettysburg. In addition to leading battlefield walks on historic Civil War sites, Len has extensive experience leading groups on World War I battlefields in France and Belgium and World War II battlefields in Tunisia, Sicily, Normandy, and the Ardennes. Len retired in 2014 with 46 years of government service. But before any of those accomplishments, Len was a student and graduate of St. Henry High School. And tonight we are honored to recognize you and welcome you as the newest member of our Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame. Would you all please join me in thanking Len for his service and congratulating him on this great honor. Thank you very much. I, I only have five minutes, so let me, let me make the best of them. First, I want to thank uh, Superintendent Garkey for, for, for the honor of this program and the opportunity to be able to come here. I want to thank Andy for the, for the kind words and uh, for, you know, when I first heard that I was going to be nominated for this, I thought, well, with all the talented people who they could possibly choose for something like this, it's just an honor to be nominated. And then when I was told I was selected, I was really humbled by that. And I really feel that in part, it's because of the reputation of the people who nominated me, the people who selected me, and, and also because of those sort of intangible qualities that, was, that were manifest in that long list of things that Andy read made me tired just hearing them. It, it was St. Henry where I got my start, where it's where I got my values. My, my aunt, my, my mom's sister sits up there, uh, and I just wish she could be here along with Aunt Lucille to hear these nice things said about, about her son. But it's the parents who you have to start thanking for the values that you were given. But I also need to thank the, the people of St. Henry who I served and worked with growing up. I served for the Gills milk route, ran milk to the doors. I served as a paper boy. I learned carpentry under Les Brunts while I worked for Ralph Tumbush. 
and there's, uh, there's a lot of, so, a lot of uh, power cords that were cut in half in the pursuit of that profession, but, <laughs> but I learned the value of hard work, and I got to know a lot of people, and since we're standing here in the new high school, my high school no longer exists. But uh, my class just celebrated its 50th reunion last October. I was in Europe and didn't get to attend. But when I look back and, and think about 50 years the old school and what that was like, and to see what it has become, well, my, my classmate, Pat Romer Bolster, sits over there, can appreciate how far we've come in the years, those 50 years. But the bedrock values and the virtues and the merits of growing up in small town Ohio have never left me. They're here today. You can feel it. You can feel it in the auditorium when you come in. And those values are the kind of foundations that send you forth. As I was coming over here tonight, I was thinking about several of my high school teachers who I thought were very instrumental in pushing me ahead to the career that I eventually chose. Not the one that I thought I was going to choose, but the one I ended up with. I had three teachers in particular that stand out. One was Myron Hilsman, who taught chemistry and made me understand and appreciate science and the power of asking questions to find answers. There was a man named Robert Miller who taught government. And the way he taught government was so interesting to me that I thought, you know, I got to know more about the process, the bureaucracy of how things get done in a democracy. And then I had Coach Fran Gilbo, who tried to make a basketball player out of me, and that was never possible. <laughs> but what he did do was he instilled in me a, a passion for and an interest in history, a sense of curiosity. So I started out with a, a degree in science thinking I was going to pursue a career in science. And then the war came along, and so there was an opportunity to serve, and I, I chose that opportunity to serve, and eventually started following the bureaucracy. The bureaucracy in the Army and the bureaucracy in democracies, they're very much the same. Eventually, though, I found my true calling, my true passion, and that was history. I was invited to go teach at the military academy. I thought I would teach science, and they said, we don't need science, we need history. So I went off and got a degree in history, and found out that my avocation was my passion. And I had the opportunity then to, to teach. And as I was doing that, I realized that, as the spiritual said tonight in church, we all have these gifts that we've been given to share. You don't know what those gifts are until they finally find you. And when I discovered that my gift was to teach, I thought, I'll never make any money at that. But my goodness, did I have a fun time doing it. And, and as a wise old man once told me, do something you love to do, and you'll never work a day in your life. So as I heard my, my nephew here talk about that laundry list of things, I was thinking, you know, yeah, that's 50 plus years, but I don't think I ever worked a day in my life. So I feel kind of like a, a fraud standing up here, but I guess I'm not. I guess in the long run, <laughs> I want to thank everybody for the honor. I want to thank you for recognizing the value of what you have. And I want you to continue to work so hard to preserve what you have and instill in those young people the kind of virtues and the kind of sense of values that are going to set them on the road to prosperity. Thank you all very much. Len will be in the comments in between the games if anyone would like to say hi to him. I know it's been a while since he's been back. Um, a big thank you to Len for making the trip out, his family for all their help with this award. Sherry Ranley, who's not here tonight, was instrumental in making this all happen. So thanks. And if you want to see Len, see him in the comments. The plaque will eventually be displayed on the north side of the commons with the other plaques. Thank you. <laughs>
great for him. Great guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs>